And I'm not against all technology, but some of it's not even ready. I mean, anybody else think there ought to be a self-evaluation test before some people are allowed to use the self-checkout line in the grocery stores? Anybody been stuck behind that weirdo waving the soup can, looking for the invisible force? Like, I gotta walk up and be like, these are not the nutrients you're looking for. Like, it's so frustrating. I, I think the greatest invention in the supermarket, we're not even using it right. You know the little dividers that lets the like, these food snobs you know, move my Yoo-Hoo and Butterfinger away from their kale and vitamin water? Um, you know what I'm talking about? That bugs me. The first time I ever saw that was I was in college and I was buying groceries, um, <laughs> ramen noodles. Um, I made that kind of money. <laughs> And the lady took the divider and she just goes, hmm, like that. Like I was about to, I just wanted to like throw the divider up and go, ah, you know, right? And that's when I got the idea. We're not using those right. We should be able to use those to speed up the shopping process. Like if somebody has 31 items in a 20 item or less, we ought to be able to whap them one time in the face. <laughs> not hurt them, just a little Christian whap. Just like 18, 19, 20, uh -huh. Jesus loves you, <laughs> whap, right? You know, if you wait until after your groceries are rung up to look for your checkbook, that should be a two whapper, okay? <laughs> Just be like, hope you find it, whap, whap, right? <laughs> if you're gonna talk to the cashier, finish your story, time it where it finishes whenever it's time to pay. Don't pay and then stand there and continue holding everybody else up, that's a three whapper. Right? It's the express lane, not the express yourself lane, okay? I don't even care if you laughed at that. Like, a week later, you're going to be standing at the grocery store going, oh, that Bob Smiley's a genius. I really want to whap that dude. <laughs> like, right? I'm just saying, and I know, I know, like, talking, oh, anti-technology makes me sound old. I don't even care anymore because I am old. I'm just going to admit it. I'm like, and I'm... I found out the exact moment that I turned old. I thought it would be gradual, you know? I thought, like, my knee would start hurting, and then I'd, one day I'd be walking through the living room and be like, oh, murder she wrote. That looks good. You know, right? No. <laughs> I know the exact moment I turned old. I was in the bathroom. My oldest son, Google, was there with me, and I was, he was leaning in the mirror. He was popping a pimple. I was leaning in the mirror. He goes, oh, you got a zit? <laughs> I was pulling a hair out of my ear. A hair that was not there the day before, but now was long enough for me to grab. <laughs> Evidently, when every guy on his 40th birthday, it just happens on me, just happy birthday to you. <laughs> and it only gets worse. Like, have you seen, we took some blankets over Christmas to a retirement center. Some of the elderly guys there, They looked like they were smuggling Ewoks in their ear hole. One guy was completely bald. He was doing a comb over. But I am, I'm, I'm, I'm getting old. I'm using terms like back in my day. I started using it about a couple of years ago. Uh, my oldest, whenever he was 16, he got a permit, which in uh, Texas, I don't know what it's like here, but in Texas, that means you can drive if you have an adult in the car, which was really hard to find. Um, <laughs> But one day I let him drive and I let my mom sit in the front and I was sitting in the back with Xander and I rolled the window down and the window rolled down and then stopped that much. See, you're nodding your head. I didn't know, I hadn't been in the back seat in years. I was like, what is that? And Xander, my youngest was like, oh, that's a safety window. They put that in to keep kids from flying out of the window. The government did it. They care about us. And I was like, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's funnier than the fresh air deal. Um, <laughs> But I was thinking that, first of all, did I miss the epidemic where kids were just flying out of windows? <laughs> when was that a problem? You know what my dad used to do? He had me hang out the window and try to get the mail as we pulled in. <laughs> we never had, and, and, and second of all, if, is that the government's solution? <laughs> we can't have them flying out of the window. That ought to do it. <laughs> like what? <laughs> And I did, I used back in my day, and it is, you know, and I'm not completely old because I am an active dad. I, you know, if you guys follow me on any social media, you see my kids and I post these videos. We play video games a lot. Um, we still play the Wii because it's still our favorite, like, gaming system. It is, so, I mean, it's kind of a special thing because my, uh, 
my oldest son introduced me to it. And I'll never forget, he, he brought me to Radio Shack, which is the first place they sold it. And he's like, Dad, there's this new system. You're going to hold a remote. We're going to play baseball. And it's going to feel like you're hitting a baseball. And I was like, no way, come on. And we got there. He was so excited. And he put the remote in my hand. And I, like the pitcher pitched the ball. And I just watched it. And all of a sudden, I was just like, <gasps> Boom! And I was like, oh, that is awesome, Coulter. That is, oh, Coulter! <laughs> Home run. And I... <laughs> 